What up, everyone? Moving right along with the boxes. We got Nerd Black Classic. So let's see what's in this one and check out what we got. <laughs> Nerd Black has not been so hot lately. They have not been on their A game. So hopefully that changes. Let's take a look. Do do do. Do do do. Alright, we got a t shirt. Let's take a look at this. See what kind of shirt we got. Da, da, da. Alrighty, so it looks like a shirt from Rick and Morty. And it looks like you got Rick and his various faces with a sketch background. What does this say? Um, this is actually branded. It doesn't say anything about shirt punch from what I can see. It just says Adult Swim. It's still Gildan, so I'm assuming that means it's still exclusive. But either way, that's still pretty cool. Looks very small. Looks smaller than it should be. Um, I like Rick and Morty. I thought it was a good show. I haven't kept up with it completely, but I thought it was entertaining to say the least. Um, I don't know if everyone's a fan of it. I'm not sure how popular the show is, to be quite honest. I don't think I've ever talked to anyone else about it, but I thought it was good. I think most people would like it, too. Quality on its decent design's fine. Um, I, I don't think everyone will love this shirt, but I think people who watch the show have. I think it's a little bit of a narrow market. Uh, so for that reason, I'll give it a 6.5 out of 10. The quality on it's fine. Everything's fine, but... I don't think that appeals to necessarily everyone. And that's kind of the same thing they did with last month, too. I think it was last month they did the Weird Al theme. And he's fine, too, but it just doesn't appeal to everyone. So, there we go. Alrighty. Next, we got a Stay Puft Marshmallow Man from Monster Factory. So, we've actually seen this before. I'm pretty sure it was from Nerdblock, where we got the Slimer figure a long time ago. Uh, it might have even been like a year ago. They do decent quality figures. The quality and stitch on these figures is very nice. Pup staring it down, sees it. Um, but they they do the generic face, like as you can see on this guy. They do like the wide eyes and like the straight lip there. That's kind of their common face they do, which is okay. Like sometimes it's fitting and works out, like on this one. But you know, not always. Sometimes it comes across as weird. But they do good quality stuff, and I like to say Pup Marshmallow Man. He doesn't have a too very expressive face at anyway, even in the movie. So. I think that's fine for his face, so that works. That'll do. Alright, then it looks like we got a mug. A little ceramic Iron Man mug. It only says 6 ounces. That seems pretty small. Let's take it out and take a look. Alrighty. Yeah, the box seems very small for a mug. We'll see. Yes, it is in fact extremely tiny. So, as you can see here, this is a tiny mug. So, this is like a shot glass mug, which is kind of weird. Some of the ceramics coming off. It's still cool. It's cool. It's Iron Man. So, you can take a look there. It's still got a cool design to it. So, nothing wrong with that. It's just very tiny. Like, you can see compared to my hands. Like, it's very small. I, I guess this is more of like an espresso mug. doesn't really say. It just says sculpted ceramic. Uh, okay. They, we got a tiny mug. That'll do. Yeah, part of the ceramic chipped off the handle. Oh well, what is? Tiny baby mug. Next, looks like we got a pin. And this looks like a nerd block exclusive. It says out of time. And if I'm not mistaken, is that Back to the Future? Is it? I think so. I don't remember specifically. I know I've seen it before. I think that's Back to the Future. And can't remember though. I'm going to assume it is. I'm sure the card will say, but whatever. All right, moving on. We got a pop figure, and we got Samantha Baker from 16 Candles. So, so a figure and character that most people will recognize because very popular movie. But, you know, they've been doing... Um, I'm glad, first of all, that, that the Pop Figures Funko has been doing like more design to the body because for the longest time they all had the same body and they looked terrible. So I'm glad they're changing it up a little bit because it actually looks more like the actress, a actress now. But, you know, I gotta say, I don't think I would have wanted a pop figure of her. I recognize it, but I, I'm, I'm a fan of the movie, but having a pop figure of her, it's like, okay, I think some people will like it, I think a lot of girls will like it, but I don't think that's necessarily for everyone. And from the looks of it, it doesn't look at all like it's exclusive, so it seems a little random, and I'm assuming you probably got the option of one of the four characters. But you know, that's cool. And it kind of seems like it's a little bit of a throwback theme. Alright, so we got that. And then we got these coupon codes that they keep giving, which I do not count. And the last thing here, looks like we got an Etch-A-Sketch sticky note pad. So sticky notes, 
that look like Etch-A-Sketch, which is cool, I guess. Eh, nothing much more to really say about it. Sticky pad. All right, so that was all the items in the box. So, you know, they did okay. Again, not too impressive, but let me take a short little break, and then I'll do some research and come back with a value and a rating. See you soon. All right, we are back. Let's talk about some value. First, the shirt. Like I was saying, 6.5 out of 10. It's a decent shirt. I think a lot of people will like it, but not everyone. Um, but it'll get standard 12 to $15 value, as all shirts do. Next, our Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. The funny thing was, they actually didn't say the name Stay Puffed on there. They just said Marshmallow Man. I thought that was kind of weird. But either way, um, this isn't going for a lot. Uh, the company that makes them does really nice quality um, plush figures, but... Most plush figures of this size are going to go for about the same, and that's like 8 to 10. And that's pretty common no matter what it is. It's always just, that's kind of what they go for in general. So no real surprise there. Then, the pop figure. I was right, and you got the option of one of the four figures that's from the movie. Um, but nothing rare or special about it whatsoever. This is going to be about 8 to 10, depending on which character you got. Because they actually do go for different values, because some are more popular than others. So no surprise there. Then, our little mini mug. You have the option of Captain America or Iron Man. Again, I'd have, I have no idea what you'd use this for. It's not big enough to be used as a regular mug. You can't even put two fingers in there. It's, it's, it seems like it's for espresso, but that would be it. And it's too big to be a shot glass or anything, so it seems like it's more for display purposes, I guess. I can't imagine anyone using this. It's a very small amount in there, but you know, whatever. So that, again, about 8 to 10 because it's a mini mug. Had it been bigger, it would probably go for more. But since it's so tiny, only about 8 to 10. Then, our pin from Back to the Future. Um, this is actually a pretty nice pin. It's not like a normal just stamped button or anything. This has some design to it, some texture, and it's from Back to the Future. So that is pretty cool. And it's got the two little pin back on there. That'll actually go for like 5 or 6 bucks. It is actually a very nice quality pin. Then, our little Etch-A-Sketch notepad. This actually goes for like five bucks. It actually comes in nice packaging and everything like that, and it's decent in quality. I'm pretty sure it's branded, and it's from Paladone. Um, but yeah, so that'll go for about five bucks. That brings our value total on the low end of 46, on the high end of 56. So the value's there. You got pretty much double your value. This box is right around 30, and you got somewhat close to 60. Uh, not as high as it usually is. It's usually a 50 to 60 uh, dollar value box. This one's 45 to 55, so not that far off. A little bit lower than the normal, though. Not that big a deal. But, you know, something I did find interesting it was I was noticing that this is a, I was saying, throwback theme, but this is a 80s takeover theme, which it made sense for the most part, but at the same time didn't, because our T-shirt is from Rick and Morty, and as far as I know, that's a current show. Uh, it's not from the 80s whatsoever. If I, unless I'm mistaken, maybe there was a comic before the show, which I'm, I'm sure there was, Maybe that was around in the 80s, but maybe that's when it was created. But it's from the TV show, what it's referencing there, the actual TV show, that's been in the recent, like, two or three years. So I don't know how that's 80s takeover. And the same thing about, um, what was the other one? Oh, the mug. It's from Civil War. It's obviously a reference to Civil War, which is not from the 80s. Nor is Captain America or Iron Man. Not from the 80s at all. They were around in the 80s, they existed in the 80s, but you wouldn't see think 80s when you saw that. It has nothing to do with it. Captain America was created in the 40s, I believe, and Iron Man not long after that. So, nowhere near the 80s. So, I'm not sure what that had to do with the theme. And the same thing with Civil War. The series was from, again, just a couple years ago. They had similar things going on in the 80s in the comic book world, but I don't believe, from if I'm not mistaken, it was called Civil War or anything to do with that. So, again... I'm not sure what the reference is there. So it seems like they kind of missed their own theme. They had some things in theme, but some things not, and it seemed very odd. But anyway, I just thought that was weird. Not a big deal. I don't really care if things are in theme as long as it's good stuff. So not a big deal, just something worth pointing out. But anyway, the stuff in here was just kind of okay. There was nothing too special about it. They had some exclusives. The plush was exclusive. Uh, the pin was... And the shirt, shirts are always exclusive, so no surprise there. But everything was just okay. The shirt was fine, the decent design, I like the show, but nothing special. The plush, it's I like Stay Puff, I like Ghostbusters, but it, it's just kind of okay. The pop figure, it's like, uh, I remember the movie and I liked it, but wouldn't really want a pop figure of those characters, and I don't think most people would. 
And then the rest is just kind of filler with the pin and the pad. And again, the mug, cool characters. I love Civil War. I love Cap and Iron Man. But what am I going to do with a tiny mug? Like, what am I going to do with that? So everything here was just okay. It didn't blow me away, but and but I don't I don't think I'd miss any of these things that they weren't here. So that being said, I'm going to give this a 5.5 out of 10. This uh, company has been kind of tapering off lately, and it's kind of sad to see because they were doing so great for so long. I'm not sure why they would need to like taper off. And again, the only thing I can think of is they're just in over their head because they have too many boxes now. They keep adding more and more, and now they're all kind of subpar versus just a handful of them that were awesome. So there's no reason for this to, to kind of go away because... If anything, they have more advertising, they have TV spots, commercials on YouTube, everything everywhere. And I've done plenty of advertising from all their boxes, so I can't imagine why else they would kind of be slowly not doing as well. But this is what we've seen from them. Common pop figures, things in there that are just like, okay, but I hope this isn't a sign of things to come. I would hate to see this company go just because they have so many good options for boxes. I'd, I'd really hate to see it, so I hope they do pick it up because they just have not been hitting at home lately. And Comic Block still hasn't showed up. It's super late. Arcade Block got here before it, so I hope this isn't a sign from this company, but, you know, only one way to tell. I may have to start canceling these boxes if they can't keep it up. But, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, this has been Nerd Block Classic. 5.5 on the box. 6.5 on the shirt. Let me know you guys thought. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Love y'all. Peace.